everyone and welcome to Battle of the Beasts um, All Generation episode number 54. I'm Adam and today I've got two more beasts fighting out for a spot in round two. And from, if I'm correct, both of these beasts are the last beasts from their respective series to fight in this round. Uh, I do not know without actually checking and because all my books are over there, I'm not going to check. I'm confident on one. Not as confident on the other, but I'm relatively sure on it. But let's get into this. So, representing series 14, The Cursed Dragon, book number 4, Faura, the Snow Phoenix. And representing series 19, The Kingdom of Dragons, book number 4, Stritor, the Skeleton Dragon. So, um, Faura vs. Stritor. Um, it's kind of ironic that we got a Series 14 Beast fighting a Series 19 Beast, considering we had, a couple battles ago, a Series 14 Beast being Vizlak fighting a Series 19 Beast Quark. Uh, so, wow. Um, so that is kind of uh, funny, really, that, uh, yes, again, they're going at it again. Will Faro get revenge for Quark, uh, Vizlak, though? Well, only time will tell. But until then, let's get into the stats. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, the battlefield is going to be a fiery uh, battlefield. Um, so let's say a... No, actually, we're just going to go with a rocky terrain arena. Um, because both of these beasts were fought in a rocky terrain arena. arena and uh, that's what we're going to go with. Anyway, sorry, Lucas. Let's get to the stats. Okay, we're back now, and now we're going to go into the weaknesses for these beasts. First, we're going to start with Faura. So, her weakness is enchantments. Due to being a young beast, Faura is extremely susceptible to enchantments. Moving on to Stritor, weakness is in incapacitation. Stritor collapses after enough damage, inca incapacitating him for a short period of time. And people say that my choice of Lycaxa beating uh, Stritor was a bad choice in the new generation tournament. Haha, <laughs> I knew that was uh, his weakness. That definitely wasn't a last minute choice I decided to make so Lycaxa can go further. Um, but yeah, that is um, my whole plan. So, <laughs> Okay, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, that is Stritor's only weakness. So with that, let's get into the fight. As both beasts exit from their chamber doors, they both burst through the sky exit, immediately spying one another. Faura starts to create a fireball within her talons, as she has the abilities of a normal phoenix, as well as little add-ons due to being a snow phoenix as well. And she shoots her fireball directly towards Stritor, which Stritor, using his skeleton hand, just bats away like it was nothing. He builds up fire in his stomach and breathes it out towards Farra. Farra only sits there and take it, takes it, and she seems perfectly fine. Stritor, in a bit of confusion, uh, is a bit bewildered by this, and uh, Farra flies up towards Stritor. Stritor goes to bite, attack, and uh, slash, swing his tail just to attack Farra, but Farra dodges it all, and using her lava-tipped talons, drag, uh, drags the talons right through Stritor's uh, body just slashing at the spine and the ribs, uh, causing little lava droplets to cause this little mark there. Stritor roars in pain, rolls over, and slashes Farah right on the um, back, causing a bunch of feathers to go flying everywhere. Stritor then flies up behind Farah as Farah is trying to get to a safe distance away and is. Um, Slashing, trying to bite at him, him, trying to bite at them. Uh, but it doesn't seem like uh, Stritor can reach Farah, as Farah's going a bit too fast for him. Um, Farah uh, then decides he ha she has to do something, turns around and slashes Stritor right on the face with the lava tip talons. And Stritor, feeling the pain, uses that to his advantage and bites down on top of Farah. 
uh, trapping one of her legs. As Farrar tries to flap away at Strider, using his hand to dig it into his skull just to cause lava bubbling up inside of him, it just drips right through him because he's made of bone. Um, and Strider uses one of his claws, just slashes at Farrar's chest, causing Farrar to squawk in pain. And Farrar decides to do a desperate manoeuvre of twisting herself, breaking her own leg and getting sliding it out of Strider's mouth. Uh, Stritorn is confused by this, but also kind of admire, admirable about Farrar's dedication to get away from him. It makes Stritorn think he is a threat after all. Stritorn flies up, uh, continues pursuing Farrar, who is, who is bleeding massively now, and breathes fire and onto Farrar. And this time, the exposed flesh from the feathers that's been lost is actually burning up from the fire. Farrow is squawking more in pain and dives bombs down as Strytor follows him, uh, follows her, not breathing the fire anymore. And right before uh, Farrow is about to hit the ground, she swoops up as Strytor uh, plunges himself straight to the ground. Farrow builds up a fireball and launches it directly towards Strytor. Strytor gets hit by it but only reanim reanimates himself from his pile of bones and flies up back towards Farrar. Farrar on a, getting very exhausted now from flying around, trying to get away from Strysor. Uh He's trying to figure out what he can do, but she doesn't know what she can do. Uh, eventually, um, Strysor eventually does catch up, and using his very large mouth, he chomps it over Farrar's um, tail feathers and rips them clean off. Farrar starts spiralling down out of control as she's lost some one of her main reasons for how she can fly. And she crashes right into the ground. Shrytor lands safely on the ground. And um, for a moment, felt a bit, bit of uh, sympathy for Farrar, this beautiful, majestic phoenix in such pain and agony. To the point where Strytor lifts up her his uh, claw, digs it into Farrar's head, pins Farrar's body down and just snaps her neck uh, right like that. Farrar's body slumps down and Strytor makes his way back to his chamber, satisfied with his victory but also happy that he got to put Farrar out of her misery. Strytor has won, Farrar has lost. If you think Farrar should have won, please feel comments below what you think that. How my words final and Strider was the winner. Um, so with that, um, unfortunately that does mean series 14 is completely eliminated from the tournament. Um, but really though, Farrar I think stood no chance against Strider. Um, but uh, if I'm being completely honest though, like Farrar did put up a good fight. She had some abilities that I didn't know about, especially the... Uh, Lava dripping from her talons and the fire and lava resistance, which made the battle a bit more um, interesting. But ultimately, Strytor is the king of all dragons, especially in the Kingdom of Dragons. So it was going to be a hard one for Farrah anyway, and unfortunately, luck was not on her side. But until then, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell button down below, and I'll see you next time.